Asante sana mzee. Your Excellency President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, President of the great country of Uganda, Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, First Lady Mama Janet Museveni, leaders present, distinguished Ugandans, and the great people of East Africa, good afternoon. First, I bring you greetings from your brothers and sisters in Kenya, both Kenyans and Ugandans and East Africans. They have sent me with greetings on this very important day while you celebrate 60 years of your independence. Congratulations, Your Excellency, Mr. President. Congratulations, the great people of Uganda. And accompanying those greetings is our commitment to our region. Mze Mseveni, as I said, is our elder. We have tremendous respect for him, and we look up to him to now work so that we can eliminate the borders that separate our people in East Africa and in Africa. It is very clear to us that we cannot share poverty and we cannot share hunger, but we can share opportunity and we can share prosperity. It is our place as leaders and as citizens of the East Africa region for us to work together so that we can transform our borders, which today stand out as barriers, and convert them to bridges so that goods, services, and people can move across this East Africa without any impediments. Your Excellency, as our elder, President Museveni, you have the challenge to lead the charge on ensuring that we bring down the boundaries and the borders and the barriers so that we can have a borderless East Africa community. We are looking in our lifetime in the next few years that people goods and services can move across this East Africa as we lead the way in ensuring that the Africa continental free trade area becomes a reality. Your Excellency, I did instruct the Minister for Trade in Kenya to work with the Minister of Trade in Uganda so that together we can formulate and sign into the guided trade agreement that will facilitate the Africa continental free trade area to begin to become a reality and so that we can harness the opportunities for investment, for trade, and for people to work together in our region. Finally, I have a word for our business people. The business people in our region are lagging behind the policy makers. I want to ask our entrepreneurs, our business people, the investor community in our region to take advantage of the infrastructure provided by the EAC 
and the ACFTA to transform our region. There is absolutely no reason why food cannot be available in our region. If there is food in Uganda, it should find its way to Kenya. If there is opportunity in Kenya, Ugandans should be able to access that opportunity. I am looking forward, Your Excellency Mr. President, to you leading us in this region so that we can truly build prosperity and harness opportunity in our region for the mutual benefit of the 300 million people in EAC and the 1.2 billion people in the African continent. Your Excellency, to our business community, today we import 1.2 million tons of fertilizer into East Africa community. While we have the raw material for us to manufacture that fertilizer and save ourselves for an exchange and create opportunity for jobs while we manufacture fertilizer for our own use in this region. We spend $500 million every year to import clinker for our cement manufacture for our construction. That too, we have the raw materials in Kenya, in Tanzania, and in Uganda to produce clinker, and we can save $500 million from, and wealth being exported from our region. Let me also say that we spend another $500 million every year to import steel for construction into our region. We have the raw materials in Uganda, we have gas in Uganda, we have the opportunity in, Ke in Kenya, we have the raw materials in our region. Our business people should harness those opportunities, leverage on the friendship that we have as East Africans, and save us the foreign exchange and create jobs for the millions of young people in our region so that we can create wealth, we can share opportunity, and we can share prosperity. Your Excellency, with age and with experience comes responsibility. You have the age, you have the experience, take the responsibility and lead the charge. Asante Nisana, thank you very much, and may the good Lord bless you.